guys welcome back to my channel it is the second day of december and i especially want to vlog this weekend i initially thought that this was just going to be like a little reading vlog because i really want to get a lot of reading done this weekend i just want it to be like a really relaxing really chill weekend but this is not just going to be a reading vlog because earlier this morning my brother's girlfriend went into labor it's kind of like barely happening i don't know too much about like the whole labor and stuff we were talking about it i'm just like there's so much information to know like when you're gonna have a baby that i'm like learning for the first time with my sister-in-law so anyways it's a very exciting day because it's starting out very relaxing very chill i'm gonna read i have my little coffee but later today or early tomorrow i'm gonna be an aunt which is insane because you guys if you've been watching my vlogs like throughout this year you probably saw when i found out that i was going to be an aunt and then when we found out the gender of the baby and now little sarah is ready to come out but anyways i'm super excited and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog also don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the videos this month and yeah This is the book that I'm gonna be starting out with. This is called The Idiot. I'm honestly in a mood for like a romance book. So I was kind of tempted to not finish this book even though I just started it. That's kind of a habit I'm trying to break with myself because I used to literally be the type of person that no matter how bad or good a book was, I would always finish it. But now I've done it with like two or three books where I'll start them and then I just won't finish them because I won't be like into them or something. So I will be continuing this book. I kind of hate myself for this, but I can't do it. I literally can't get into this book. I got to page 54, like literally barely anything, but I just can't do it. I'm so bored. I have so much motivation to read right now and I can't waste that on a book that I feel like I'm gonna maybe like or maybe not. I need to start off my weekend with a really good book like a book that's going to motivate me to keep on reading also something that i really don't like is that there's no chapters in this book like it's literally just one big story i can just tell that it's going to be one of those stories where at the end everything just makes sense and it just gives you like a really nice profound feeling so we will come back to this book but we're going to move on to something else for now okay this is my tbr pile this is one i definitely want to read in the next couple of days today i think i want to read this one this quote right here by Allie Hazelwood is all I needed to hear. Fresh, witty, and utterly romantic. I'm not even kidding, I've laughed out loud with this book like three or four times already. Okay guys, it is a lot later now. I'm about to take off my makeup and get ready to go to sleep. Basically my niece is not born yet, but we still just went to the hospital for a little bit, but it's looking like she's gonna be born tomorrow, December 3rd. Like I've said like 45 million times now, I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna take off my makeup and put on my PJs and go to sleep. Okay guys, it is Monday now, it is December 4th. As you probably already saw, my little niece was born already. She was born yesterday, Sunday, December 3rd, but it's just been so exciting these past couple days. I actually did take my book with me to try and read at the hospital, but when you're literally right next to the cutest baby you've ever seen, there's really not much reading that you can actually get done. We were there for like five hours. I think I read like 10 pages, I'm not even kidding, but I'm gonna finish this book tonight and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it. I'm still kind of unsure if it's gonna be like a really, really good book or if it's gonna be like like one of those romance books that you enjoy while you're reading but it's not really memorable like you're not going to think about it again also the vibe of this book 
just gives me like fall slash winter vibes like this is the perfect story and the perfect book to read during this time of year anyways right now i'm right outside of amazon fresh i was gonna go to trader joe's but i feel like for trader joe's you kind of need you need energy to go to trader joe's because it's just like a whole thing like it's gonna be crowded you're gonna get annoyed with the parking i'm picking up everything i need to make dinner later and the other thing is i'm gonna be trying to recreate a brown sugar shaken espresso i'm just like really really craving that and i'm hoping i can recreate it at home so i'm gonna pick up some brown sugar some whipping cream some cinnamon literally everything I need to make a brown sugar shaken espresso coffee but at home I can't come to Amazon Fresh and not get some of their sushi I feel like you guys aren't even surprised at this point that I'm going to sleep so late and it's all because of a book but it's 1 13 in the morning and I just finished you again it was such a cute story I think I'd probably give it like four stars out of five and I realized halfway through the book that this whole story is a take on the movie when Harry met Sally so I noticed a lot of similarities in the book and the movie but this one was definitely like a modern way of telling that story it was a second chance romance and it's basically about these two characters that keep running into each other in like the weirdest circumstances if you're looking for a good romance book to read during the month of December this is such a good one I'm currently at a fun little place. We're at Barnes & Noble right now, but we are only here for one single book. For my virtual book club this month, we chose the book One Day in December, so I'm here to get my copy of that book. Also, I thought I would give you guys my thoughts on You Again that I finished yesterday. I know I said this yesterday, but I was like literally half asleep. But if you have watched the movie When Harry Met Sally, it is literally almost the exact same thing, but also really different, if that makes sense. Like, it is about these two characters that keep running into each other. It literally reminded me so much of the song by Taylor Swift called Invisible String, or like the Invisible String Theory, where you're basically like connected to a person, and no matter how different your lives may be at the time, you're kind of like being drawn to each other. So that was kind of like these characters. They kept running into each other. It was honestly a really cute story, and I loved 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 the ending and how it like tied everything together and it was also really funny i know i keep saying that but it was actually really funny i feel like some rom-coms like they're supposed to be like a romantic comedy but it's not really funny at all but like i said we're gonna be starting this book today forever interrupted let's go into barnes and noble and we are only getting one book that is it i'm like doubting myself but no it's just one book walked in there i was like one day in december look for it get it pay for it come out let's go no as soon as i saw all the cute little stands that they have for all of the christmas books right now it was like a moth to a flame situation so instead i picked up 
all of these books. The first one I saw that I picked up that pretty much led to me getting all of these other books was this one, Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. I read at the back and it sounds like it's gonna be really interesting. Then I got one day in December, I actually got the last copy that they had. After I picked up the Tessa Bailey book, I was like, okay, the plan I had to just get one book, it's not happening. So then I saw this one, In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. Let me take off these glasses. Then the funniest thing happened, one of the workers in there helped me find the last copy of One Day in December and she saw the stack of books that I had so she could kind of tell that I was like into rom-coms and romance books and cute little books like that. And she basically asked me if she could recommend me a book and she seemed so excited about it that I was like, absolutely yes. So I got it. I was like, you know what? You convinced me. I'm getting it. I'm reading it. It sounds like it's going to be amazing. She was basically saying that she's a super slow reader but she ended up reading this book in two days because she could not put it down. It's called Raiders of the Lost Heart. And then I was like, you know what? Let's call it a day. Let's go home. Let's pay for these books. But then I saw this book and I just knew that I absolutely positively could not leave without this book. Another Allie Hazelwood book. This one's called Check and Mate. It says right here, it's the perfect rivals to lovers romance. And that's all I need to know because I am a sucker for enemies to lovers. Okay, just got my Chick-fil-A. I read like the first five pages of this while I was in line and it's already so incredibly sad. Pretty much the whole point of this book, and this isn't a spoiler because it's literally what the book is about. The whole story is gonna be about these two newlyweds that are absolutely in love with each other. And then a few days after they get married, he gets in an accident and he passes away. So then the girl becomes a widow right after she gets married. It's so sad, like literally just thinking about it. If I know anything about books from Taylor Jenkins Reid is that they're going to be absolutely devastating, but it's also gonna be such a beautiful story that it's worth it. Okay, I just got to page 96. And this is seriously such a conflicting story. It kind of reminds me of All Your Perfects where you're going between past and present. And the present is so incredibly sad. Like it's literally heartbreaking to even think about putting yourself in these character's shoes. And then the past, which is basically showing you how they met and just basically like their whole love story. It's like one of the most beautiful and genuine love stories ever that I'm like reading the past chapters smiling because it's so cute and it's so romantic and it's just beautiful and then right after that chapter you go back to the present where everything is messed up and everything is sad so it's literally just so sad but at the same time I can't stop reading it because it's so good line of this book literally what i just read like 30 seconds ago was probably the saddest line in the whole book i honestly think this book deserves five stars out of five but i'm gonna go and choose my next book because i just i have to read at least a chapter of another book because i could not go to sleep thinking of this book i'm literally gonna dream depressing things